بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنس ليعبدون I've not created mankind and the jinn except for worshiping me. What does ibadah mean? What does worship mean for us as a believer? Is it simply just praying five times a day? That's a part of it. Alhamdulillah. But however, ibadullah, that means as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah so aptly defined it as meaning كُلُّ مَا يُحِبُّهُ اللَّهُ وَيَرْضَاهُ مِنْ أَفْعَالُ وَأَقْوَالُ الظَّاهِرَ وَالْبَاطِنَ That worship, it's everything that Allah loves and is pleased with from statements, from sayings and from actions whether it be hidden or parent, apparent so meaning, hidden meaning, those acts of worship that are in the heart. For example, I can't determine what someone's sincerity is. I can't look at their out... You know, we can make judgments and say, it doesn't seem like so-and-so is sincere. seems like they're showing up. But we really can't tell that. That we really don't really have the, the tools. Allah has not given us the ability to make those judgments. And we definitely don't know if someone is really making tawakkul on Allah. Or if someone is really making correct tawassal, are they in, in their heart? Are they seeking to come closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? You can tawassal uh, by supplicating to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by His divine names and attributes. You can make tawassal by making du'a and, and mentioning the good deeds that you've done and the maasi that you've stayed away from to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Those are forms of the tawassal mashroor. Those are the lawful ways of making tawassal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But those things we can't judge. You know, how much fear someone has. We don't have a fear meter, a khawf meter. You know, we don't have one of those to be able to tell how much someone fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how much, uh, the, these are types of worship that have to do with the heart. And those are matters of the heart that only Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala can judge. And the other type the other division of ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala involves wor uh, worship by the limbs and the tongue, meaning the, the statements that you say. You know, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika la la muqu la alhamu ala kulli shayin kandir, subhanallah wa bahamdihi subhanallah radeen. All of this dhikr, all of this dhikr, uh, 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 dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this remembrance of Allah, these are ways to remember Allah. That's ibadah on the tongue. These are actions of the tongue. Then we have the worship which involves our limbs and that is those things the physical actions of ibadah things like physically uh, making the hajj the prayer the prayer combines all three it, it com combines uh, dhikr on the tongue remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the tongue by the supplications and the, the way, various forms of dhikr that are in the uh, prayer and reading the Quran the surahs and it involves the physical actions of, of salat, you know, sujood, wuruku, you know, making prostration, making, um, uh, you know, and, and prostrating down on the ground before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did, and all of those other physical actions of the prayer. And it involves, of course, the heart, that you have khushul, that you have khashiyah, that you have fearfulness, and humility, and humbleness before Allah. Those are actions of the heart. So the, the Salat is a prime example of the combination of all of those actions of ibadah. And that is, that is a great ni'mah and a great mercy from Allah that we have the prayer. And that it is a way to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Him through all the various acts of ibadah.
or all the various uh, types of Ibadah, those various, those three divisions. And as we mentioned before, the issue uh, by worshiping Allah with your heart, worshiping Allah with your limbs, and worshiping Allah with your tongue. And so that is what Ibadah means for the believer. Ibadah has its various types and it is must be done with sincerity to Allah and in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and with the understanding of the Salaf Salih meaning that we stay away from new types of creed and new types of uh, way of trying to attempt to understand the religion Khalas, the religion is complete and the religion is Allah's religion and Allah is the only one worthy of worship and we ask Him, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam